Greetings all, Shane Bruce, Resto Mod Daisy, and I'm here with a uh, introduction piece. It's the two newest members of the Remuda here at Resto Mod. Uh, I have built oh, a handful of these uh, mare's legs in the past, uh, but it was pointed out to me during our last castle shoot that we did not have one available for firing, so I've remedied that problem. Now, this is not a standard issue Daisy product. Uh, it is an adaptation of the current production uh, 1938B uh, to turn it into a gun called a mare's leg. Now, a mare's leg is a chopped down Winchester. It was made famous by Steve McQueen in a TV show way back in the 50s called Wanted, Dead or Alive. An old Steve toted one of these around, not looking like this. It looked more like a traditional, just chopped up lever action rifle. And it was super popular because, as any of us could see plainly, they are super cool. Uh, these particular guns are, um, like I said, 1938Bs, current production, Walmart guns that I bought for one reason or another and decided, hey, that's as inexpensive a product as you can get to uh, mod into something pretty nice. So, what makes it a mare's leg? Well, the first thing we do here at Rustamod is we don't go with the traditional section buttstock. We build what is called a stop grip. Uh, at various points in time in other guns, I've put a uh, little... Uh, metal receivers here so you could tie a, a, a uh, lanyard off to it and dangle it from your shoulder as you're galloping across the plains on your horse or riding jiffily and speedily in your Jeep. Uh, second mod we've done to the gun is we put the large loop lever on it. Uh, I think that looks more appropriate and it's kind of in standing with the uh, gun that Steve McQueen used. It had a large loop on it as well. Now moving forward to the muzzle uh, you'll notice that there are no loading ports on the mare's legs. There are several methods you can use. The one I choose to use is just to put the regular front sight plug in. When you need to reload it, pull it out, pour in your BBs, stick the plug back in. They stay fine. They stick pretty well. And that'll give you a capacity here of maybe 250 rounds, which is plenty of ammunition for one of these little guys. And let's show you the roll stamps, just to show you I'm telling you the truth. It's just 1938B. Common, common, common daisy, the Red Rider. Uh, the one on the bottom here has maple stock, uh, maple butt stock. It's not super distinguished, it's not uh, super curly, but it is maple. And what we've done with the forehand on this one is to put a uh, maple overlay on the existing poplar wood stock. And it looked okay. It's okay, it's a range gun. It's one of the guns we're going to use. Uh, internally, they all have the Cobalt 327 Super Spring. They have a 764 overbore air tube, and because we're using the uh, factory standard abutments on them, the uh, barrels shoot pretty tight, it keeps up a fair amount of speed. Both these guns run in the 325, 335 range. So they're not super thumpers, but they're thumpers. And I think that's kind of remarkable since it's uh, only about a four and a half inch barrel, six inch barrel coming off the uh, abutment assembly. So that's the uh, mother-in-law side. Here's the Oh, excuse me, that was the girlfriend side. These are the mother-in-law sides. There's not much difference there between the two. Super fun to shoot. Uh, it's more of a chin gun. You can't get it to your shoulder, but people see them, people like them, people want to pick them up. All right, kids, that's all we've got for you today on two of the newest members of the Remuda here at Resto Mod Daisy. And you'll be seeing these guys uh, because we intend to use them at our next uh, theme shoot. The 1950s drive-in alien invasion should be a hoot. <laughs> this is Shane Bruce with Resto Mod Daisy, signing off.